In this video we're going to be talking about faulting and the landforms that result from faults in the Earth's surface. So a fault being a crack or a fracture in the rocks, we have large scale faults which we refer to as transform faults. So those are really large cracks in the Earth's surface um, that are generally at right angles to plane boundaries. Um, and then we have our small scale faults which we refer to as a fault plane. So this would be a weak, a weak point in the rock. So as the rock is either compressed or starts to move sideways, um, that weakest point is going to break or, or fracture. Um, and we're going to have a look at a few of these landforms and how they're formed now. This is um, looking at a transform fault. So um, the continent of North America has a subduction zone. So our plate from the ocean is moving underneath the continent. Um, and what we're going to be seeing um, in this instance is perhaps the one area of that plate that's moving under gets a little stuck or another side moves a little faster. So if you look at the just above that black line, you'll see that one part of the plate moves in and the other one is going more slowly. And so we have at a right angle to the plate boundary, a fault line. So this is a normal fault that we would expect to see on a fault plane that's going to form as these two plates move away from each other. You're going to see that shift. Um, and so we have a normal fault plane um, that can be caused by pressure or pulling uh, movement of those plates. We could also have a reverse fault. So if your two masses of rock are moving towards each other, and as that pressure builds up, the one is going to slip above the other, and then we're going to end up with a reverse fault. If you look at this image here, we've got some sedimentary rock, and if you look slightly to the left of that white line, you can see a fault that has formed um, on that particular formation. The final type of fault we'll look at is lateral. So what happens here is if you have two pieces of rock, one moving towards me and the other one towards you, um, there's a slip um, and there we have a little um, fault line forming along that fault plane. So the last thing we're going to talk about here is the formation of rift valleys. So a rift valley is formed when we have areas of the surface of the earth moving away from each other. As a result of that, little cracks start to form. We have little faults forming um, within the crust of the earth. And as that um, earth is separating, you've got those parts of the crust moving away from each other. Um, certain parts along those faults will start to move down um, and the rest will kind of stay where they are. And you can see these valleys starting to form um, and we call them rift valleys and they form along those fault lines. So the resulting landforms is we have a block mountain, which is in the shape of a block. Um, and then we will also have rift valleys, which is a valley a slightly more blockish than our traditional U or V shaped valley that we are used to. So hopefully after this, you can go and recognize faulting in the world around us. Um, and if you have any questions, please just comment below um, and I will get back to you or make a video about something else that maybe um, you have questions about. So like, share, subscribe um, and let's learn more about geomorphology in geography um, over the next few videos.